we have no doctrine. We have no, um, we don't, we don't tell anybody what to believe. You get all kinds of, you have, you know, you have people here who identify with, with Buddhism, with earth-based religions. Um, you get people like me who are atheists. very open, they're very considerate, they, they're some of the nicest people I've ever met that are in this church and I like that they're open to new ideas and that they're open to different topics. Love is our doctrine, the quest for truth our sacrament, and service our prayer. To dwell in harmony with all life, at peace with one another, seeking knowledge and freedom, serving humankind in friendship. This is our heart. The first principle, I think, just is that every person, no matter your background or your beliefs, has the same rights and, um, and deserves the same equality and treatment as everybody else. Compassion is something that we can easily act on individually. We can demonstrate openness, give people respect, and treat people with kindness on our own, but we need one another to achieve equity and justice. As responsible religious seekers, we recognize that we are privileged to be free, to have resources to pursue life beyond mere survival, to continually search for truth and meaning, to exist beyond bonds of dogma and oppression, and to wrestle freely with truth and meaning as they evolve. Democracy means not, I am as good as you are, but you are as good as I am. I want us to believe, and to live as if we believe, that a world community with peace, liberty, and justice for all is possible. There is no guarantee that we will succeed, but I can assure you that we will improve ourselves and improve the world by trying. Favorite principle is definitely the seventh principle because I've always been passionate about caring for our earth and being aware of taking care of all of our natural resources that we have. One of my favorite parts of working with the Unitarian Church was just being in that environment, um, being surrounded by people that were, you know, so compassionate and so kind and accommodating, and you know, could you could spark up a conversation, um, and it was just a really great experience. And also getting to work with the kids, you know, they had a really great time, and getting to talk with them and talk to them about what Unitarian means to them. It was a really great experience, and the fact that those kids are you know, already getting that sort of religious experience and education that benefits their own uh, sort of religious journey. Um, painting the stairs was, it was a great opportunity, and I'm just thrilled that we got to work with the Unitarian Church. It was, it was fantastic. people a visual on how and what we're doing and it makes it better for people instead of just writing, it gives you more of a visual. You know, different things, but primarily as a as minister, as creator of the service we do on Sunday mornings, that's I think an artistic process because I'm pulling various elements together to uh, express those principles in our weekly uh, service, so I'll take um, a song, poem, um, something somebody has written and that expresses consistency with those principles and may um, illuminate those principles even more in what I say, what I write, 